You want to argue for Deadpool and I can argue? No, I'm not arguing for Deadpool. Let's just talk honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's Brandon. Hey. We got Matt from the Crossover Podcast. What up, yo? And this is the conversation that I've been dying to have with both of you. <laughs> We're going to do a three-way swordsman battle. Okay. Between Deathstroke, Leonardo, the leader of the Ninja Turtles, and everybody's favorite... Merc with the mouth, Deadpool. Ugh. But we don't we don't have to each take one. We're right? not taking one. We oh, just want hot God. takes on each I was gonna ask of their Deadpool. sword skills. So who's the better swordsman is the topic at hand. Okay. So we got three swordsmen here, gentlemen. Let's, let's hash this out. Okay. Can I say right off the top that, you know, I'm wearing a Deadpool shirt. I like Deadpool. Deadpool is, you know, I think he's a little oversaturated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, saturated. I know where that you're going with this, Matt, so don't worry. But, um, say you know, we'll, we'll get into it off air, what, you know, my favorite Deadpool stuff is. Mm. But um, the best part about Deadpool is that he's not particularly good with the swords in terms of protecting himself because he doesn't have to. So he gets destroyed all the time. So, you know, in terms of sword skill, he's taken down like the hand in its entirety and runs. He's killed zombies. He's killed the entire Marvel universe. He's done all kinds of crazy stuff, but he never escapes unscathed. He's growing back a limb somewhere. He's doing... He's doing a great deal of damage to himself. His healing factor, which Slade also has a healing factor to some extent, mm-hmm. and he's got tech on his side. You know, so like in terms of just skill set, if we're just talking skill, both of which have had mystical abilities in the past as well. Yeah, so like he he's just not on the same level as as Slade. But would which, Leonardo be considered on the same level as Slade as well? Though it's hard, man, because. Leo's actually well trained with swords. He's on par with like majority of his universe. Like the, the fact that where he can go one on one with the Shredder and take and decapitate him. Mm. Well, have you guys read the original like yes. Dark Horse oh, yeah. run where it's like super IDW? violent and stuff? Oh, yeah. The IDW. The, Sorry, it wasn't the Mirage, Dark Horse. You're right. Yeah. You're both wrong. Yeah, yeah. It was Mirage. It's Mirage. Wow. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, you're you guys both wrong. Read that. Is that the, um actually? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No. It, it, yeah. I, it's, In it's 1984, fantastic. it was released. Yeah. By him, right? It's, it's well, yeah. Because I've never I've never read that. I, I you know I I've been meaning three, to. I got I've three hard uh, hardcover volumes of it. Yeah. The the first issue he is sent, I believe, on a solo mission. No, that wasn't yeah. him. It was Raph. Okay, was I always get mixed up. So yeah, Raph, and he has this wonderful, you know, um, monologue about killing and this and that and what he's trained to do. But you don't really have that moment then beyond that in the entire series. There was one moment where... Until the Shredder. Until, until he the kills shredder, the Shredder. But there's also the moment that, if you remember the, the, the beloved 90s movie... Where Raph is the one hunted by all the foot. It wasn't yeah. Raph in the in the original run. It was actually Leo. Leo okay. and Leo has to take out pretty much every type of the hand there is. Type of the foot. Oh yeah, foot. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, either you they're know, both they're both the same. They're both, but they're this. based on like yeah. they, those. Um, help me out here. Eastman and Laird are huge. Uh, Dare- Frank Miller, Daredevil. Yeah. Guys. Daredevil fans. Yeah. So like the hand, the foot. A lot of it is based on on the ideas and and daredevil so leo is more than proficient of keeping himself alive with his swords especially Mm -hmm. when backed against the wall and also like if he if he has to go one-on-one with the shredder he will come out on top he might not be unscathed but he's more than he's more than proficient to hold his own he's absolutely capable and including the fact when they went back in time to like the feudal japan where there was creatures instead of people with uh yusagi Mm-hmm. He's more than capable to handle himself, even in the Shogun era, which they've gone through. Yeah, where swords were used and, and guns were not on hand. That's yeah. the other curveball is that both Slade and Wade use are guns. With guns. guns. So are we taking guns completely it, off the table? And are we taking healing factor or? off the table? Because that's the thing. Deadpool can keep no, going. But all power yeah. sets. All power sets will be still on the table because that's also, what makes you can just, why I hate this power yeah. scaling nonsense. If you could but, take like. Like if you take Deadpool's head off his body, though his like head just keeps talking, but his body doesn't keep moving. No, right? his body grows. Right? It's either grows back. It's either depends, his body it depends on who's telling the story, it right? Yeah. Most of the time, it's his body will grow okay. back, or, or his body will crawl reconnect. over to him yeah. and reconnect. Yeah, yeah that would be the other one. But yeah, but 
with I'm Deathstroke. Just, is just trying to get my comic book knowledge of here. It's like if I remove the head, how much time have I got? You my know, like, <laughs> my thing with Deathstroke though is I I believe him to be the most proficient killer of the three. Yeah, and consistently throughout all of his runs. Yeah. Mm. That that's where I'm kind of having trouble is that you know like I the first comics that I ever owned as a kid were Batman, Ninja Turtles, some Spider Man, some Hulk, you know, um, and obviously more of the kids stuff. You yeah, know, I didn't yeah, yeah. really until I was older read the um, the reprints of the Mirage stuff. And mm-hmm. okay, so this month's poll question is. Who is the most lethal person with a sword in all of comics? Sound off in the comments below. But I mean, when it comes to Deathstroke, he's not only proficient with just katanas and swordsmanship and whatnot, but the amount of different type of weaponry that he gets, like, I think he's got, in, what was it, uh, Dark Knight's Metal? Or no, was it? Mm. Just like, yeah, the metal or one? The nth metal or whatever. Yeah, he, mm. that was one well, of Well, he was sensitive to it. That's why he goes off with Aquaman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. He's also, he's more than proficient with other weaponry mm. that's not of Earth. I'm pretty sure he's got a Kryptonian. Well, he had a Kryptonian yes. sword at one time. That was the best part of Arkham Origins, which mm-hmm. the game that everybody shit on. Well, I think unfairly, but that was the best part of Arkham Origins is when you have the one on one fight with Deathstroke and he switches weapons during every like bot yeah. like it like it's a f- boss fight with phases and mm-hmm. he switches weapons and each new weapon is a different phase. Yeah. And that and it's just them. Yeah. Great. That's what, that's best part I, of that video game. That's what I loved about about Teen Titans as well. Mm-hmm. Like I mean the animated Teen Titans, the original Teen mm-hmm. Titans. And they couldn't just show him stabbing people in that one too. <laughs> so that's that's more of a BSP I mean, thing. Like, yeah. Even with his power sets in there, it's kind of yeah. interesting too because like he's he makes deals with like these people to like, gain power and like he's adaptable. Mm-hmm. Deadpool just goes head first into everything. So realistically, if you were put with, like put these guys in a pit with swords, Deadpool's gonna charge at him head first, and Deathstroke's just gonna analyze the shit out of him until he can actually kill him. Hmm. Leo's just gonna stand in the corner and just be like, okay, I'll wait. And that, yeah. but that's the thing. That's this stupid healing factor thing that just throws everything yeah. off because he's not as good as either of these cats uh, in terms of his fighting proficiency. Maybe the, with guns. The only thing but, I could say about Leo and his proficiency is that he's still. A f- teenager sorry i gotta Mm. bleep that out but he's still a teenager so realistically keeping the streak alive (laughs) he's still a teenager so like (laughs) he's a teenager so he's gonna be headstrong he's gonna be stubborn especially if he's goaded into a fight by see somebody like deadpool he's screwed Mm. yeah that's the problem with leo he's a headstrong fighter that's true leo i think is out of the equation solely based on both of both Deadpool could play him, and Slade has a stronger um, mindset. And he's older, so he that's has, even better. He's got like that chess player mind. I'm five moves ahead of you. Yeah. He he understands. So say, for example, something like, I'm totally of the mindset that Deathstroke has and always will know who Bruce Wayne is in relation to Batman. Mm-hmm. And many a times he's even said as much in the comics, but he's dismissed it because it does not matter to him. To him, Bruce Wayne is, an, is one entity and Batman is another. And and although, you know, all of these things, he's literally been in the bad cave, like in Christopher Priest's uh, yeah. crossover there. And and he, you know, he, they, they, fought in, they fought to basically the death with like Wintergreen and uh, Alfred, like locking them in and stuff, right? But he, he doesn't, He's got that that mindset where he he knows this, but he's able to separate out the warrior aspect in people. And so I think if Deadpool tried to do the psychological stuff, which I don't think he's as good at as Batman, although he's probably a lot funnier about it, um, it, that's not going to affect Slade, whereas I think it's going to affect Leo. I feel like we're breaking down a fight. Like yeah. you have, yeah, we are. I mean, I feel like Joe Rogan, like, but I mean, like, who's got the longer reach? <laughs> The guy, like, Deathstroke owns a sword called the God Killer. Yeah. Crafted by Hephaestus. Yeah. yeah. The, uh... And, like, this Greek thing, and, of, and also, yeah. it, 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 he's got a mental Chain link man. to the sword. He can summon it at mm. will. So I, even if he goes in with a normal sword, he can just summon it. Like it's the last, it's the last ditch effort to win. Here's my feelings on this one, and this is a three way sword fight between Deadpool, Deathstroke, and Leonardo of the Ninja Turtles. And perhaps I'm being overly simplistic in my analysis here, 
but only one of these guys is actually named for an act that you can commit with, with a sword. sword. Fair enough. So, you know, so like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. I just made that again. That's just me. He's got the killing blow. You can reach me on Twitter at Debate Comics or shoot me a line via email, debate at explodingearths.com. I read everything that we get and I reply to as much as we possibly can. That's it for this episode. Debate Comics will return. Debate Comics will return.